Hi everyone, welcome once again in this module number 7. What we are going to look in this module is all kinds of cables. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for continuous updates. I am saying all kinds because it is not single cable. There are multiple cables that we need to do because in our climate clock we are actually supplying power but also we are playing with the data that needs to be displayed. So, for transferring the data from your controller to the LED display requires a different cable. Transferring and supplying power from your power supply to LED as well as controller requires different cables. So, let us look at all these cables very very important. Well, let me start with the first and the most important cable is what is called FRC cable. You know? So, this FRC cable is actually 16 pin cable. So, there are 16 pins that are there. This is the normal standard cable that is required for data transfer and this FRC cable has one red pin at the one side you can see here in my hand. This is the cable, this is the two sides of the cable. By the way, if you look carefully here there is a notch here. You see there is a notch here but on the other side it is plain and when it goes to the male side of it, you can only put the cable in one particular way, you cannot put it in other way, right. So, that is why you know all these cables have been standardized in a manner that you cannot make a mistake of how to put the cable. By the way, all this red side you know we are going to have three such cables required FRC cables because there are three P10 displays. So, you need to connect each of them. So, data from P10 1 will go to P10 2, from P10 2 it will go to P10 3. In all case you need this kind of cable. So, uh, there are 16 pins I do not know if you can see these are the female side of it and on the other side we have seen that there are 16 uh, pins that comes from the controller that we have seen. Okay, So, this is how it looks like at one side and this is how at the other side. So, this is a FRC cable in reality you can see in the picture it looks like this as I showed already 16 pins are there at the both the sides and the pitch is cable is about 2.54 millimeter the distance between the pins is about 2.54 millimeter very close to each other and 17 centimeter is the length of this cable which is good enough to connect between the two P10 LED display. Well, the next cable that we require is what is called rally made 4 pin cable. So, the power supply to the LED display is given by this 4 pins which is again 2 pins of positive and 2 pins of negative and basically all pins come from the same. So, one side the power will come or the pin will be connected to the power supply the DC port of the power supply. Other side we have shown 3 such a output because there are 3 LED displays, 3 P10 displays. I told you that our climate clock is quite big and we require 3 of them put together in a series. So, we need 3 of them and that is why in your schematic diagram you are seeing 3 output port. Okay, so, the cable is shown on your screen but I am also going to demonstrate you this is the cable and uh, this are the one end which is red is positive and the black is negative. Where this will go? This will go in the power supply, 5 volt power supply 20 ampere that is the socket where it will go. And the other side you see there are 3 output and all of them is 4 pin really made cable connector. So, why 3? Again I am repeating why 3? Because there are 3 LED displays you know we are going to put 3 of them together we need to give power supply to all of them. Again there is a specific indicator here see one side there is a pin here knob and this knob will go in one direction only again. Okay? So, you cannot make a mistake with this, this also has this. So, this is what is called the power cable for the LED. Now, we also need to supply a power to the controller. So, there will be similar cable for the controller and there is a third cable, there is a power cable for the output. So, we will get from the DC, so this will be something like this. So, so, you have to plug into normal cable anywhere, so 230 volt and this will go where power supply input where there is a line and neutral. Okay? So, red will go to the line and black will go to the neutral. So, this is the AC cable. So, these are the cables that is actually required for supplying the power to mainly two things your controller as well as to your LED display. So, that is it simple arrangement for the power cables and in the next module what we are going to do we have now seen all the components 
in little detail that is required to assemble your clock. I'm sure all this component is in your hand right now. Next module, we'll see the cabinet, the body on which you are going to fix all this component. So the cabinet of the climate clock and after that, we will be all ready to start assembling our own climate clocks. So thank you very much. I'm sure you're enjoying what is happening. Uh, you're learning from it. And as I said, once you learn this thing, not only you're limited to use this knowledge for assembling your climate clock, but you can assemble any other kind of display and use it in your business, in your school, your colleges, wherever you are. So stay tuned and let us go to the next module, module number eight and learn about the cabinet itself. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.